Welcome to Live at the Blue Box. It is now time for This Week in Geek for May 7th, 2016. Free Woo! comic book day. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. We don't have any free comics, but if you go out to a Lil's car, you could probably score a couple. So uh, for those of you that don't know, which would be this table, we do live podcasts here every Saturday night. They are family friendly. Safe. Yes. Safe. Yes. But there might be jokes that Dad gets, too. Uh, and uh, we're, we do we're three like hours Miller. of this. It's a lot of geek stuff, a lot of TV and movies, and just fun. So the first show we're doing is This Week in Geek. Let's do it, boys. Let's introduce ourselves. You, Sicky, on the end. My name is Alil Kanitza. I do a podcast called the League of Geeks podcast, and it's Geeks with a Z. I'm also on the Enough Said podcast, where we talk about Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything else Marvel. Not Agent Carter anymore, it looks like, but... That's not yeah. confirmed, and, but we'll talk about well, that. Well, we'll talk about that. Uh, and some other podcasts that uh, we do on the Southgate Media Network. All right. Excellent. And, th- and you were sick with a Z this week, weren't you? I was. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. Is that so a new Z. disease, sick with a Z? Six. Six. <laughs> yeah. I was sick. You are. My name is Chris Mao, and I am co-owner of Blue Box Cafe here, as, long as, as well as co-host of several shows, including this one. Uh, what are we doing? What's PCC? I don't know. I, we're, doing, we're a lot. Pop culture countdown, binge worthy, all sorts of real stuff. Real idiots, <laughs> which is real. It's idiots. a movie show, but that's it could not be a, anything with us on it. That's not really a show. That's just you guys. <laughs> that's right. that's your, you know. um, See, there was a review uh, of us hold, written. Hold on. <laughs> there was a review of our show that was written, but they misspelled real. They did R E A L, and I just didn't Uh-oh. understand Sorry. it. Lights Case are point. out. And I'm Rob Southgate, co-owner of Southgate Media Group. And uh, I'm on lots of shows, including New Media Lab. If you want to learn, if you want me to be professional and learn Sorry, about like the sick new work. media, that's the show. That's Otherwise, the I make a buffoon out of myself on about 18 you, other shows. Let's get into it. Dun, dun, dun. Alil, were you able to go to Free Comic Book Day at all? Yeah, I went to uh, two comic book stores Okay, with the kids. Uh, it was fun. Want to give some shout outs here? I uh, went to, well, I can't remember the name of the one. Graham Cracker. Graham Cracker Comics in uh, Where is that? St. Charles. St. Charles. Was it Geek in something? No, it's one here. It's down the road here. It's on Walnut. I don't know what that is. And, uh, There's this thing called it's the a internet. Street, we can like, look stuff up. Yeah, we can. Where's your, what's your mom doing, Peg? Are you even listening? We've had 14 Would it be Tom's Depp's Comics already talking. It is. Tom's it Comics. Is Tom- <laughs> it, it's Tom's Comics. Tom's Comics. The, be, the best thing As you were Rob's there. Comics. Oh. That, would have, that would have been the best name. I no, can't but remember. It, 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 Tom's Comics actually was a really cool shop, though. Is it? Like, nice. right over tons here. of vintage toys and stuff you had on the wall. It was All right, we need to go in there. Really good deal. Uh, really good. Uh, Jim, have you been there? Nope. I think I, we're going to have to go a, over there. I bought a, um, a Bowman uh, Gray Hulk mini bust. Nice. Ooh, nice. And then I, like, nice. With, with that, he gave, like, a. I don't know. I walked away with like fifty free comics, like wow. not Ooh, free nice. comic book day comics, like just like. Just well, that's just because you walked out. Comics you them. stole. <laughs> <laughs> a little with a long no, he box. Had a, he had a whole. Hey, are these <laughs> all free? Can do you send the kids up? Can I get this one for free, Mister? <laughs> he had a bunch of tables. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> where he was doing the free comics and like you know get one free comic book, you know a couple of free comic book day comics, and then a bunch of vintage ones. So I got a bunch of. Um, uh, Power Man and Iron Fist books, uh, nice. Spider Woman books, like, nice. you know, old ones. I'm old talking about like nice. Ghost Rider number nine. I'm like, Fantastic. where did that come from? Uh, nice. That's I picked good. up one. Uh, I picked up a couple old ROM books, a couple old Micronauts <laughs> books. Did you see Free Comic Book Day? It had, had, had a ROM, ROM yeah. comic. Had a ROM. Zero. Yeah, I saw it. I got it. Oh yeah, I was all about it, man. You know, the only one, the, there's a few books that we didn't. I didn't see at the two places we were at that like. My wife was upset because she wanted it, and then she saw you guys on Facebook yeah. with the oh. Grumpy Cat comic. Oh, she yeah. Grumpy Cat. You didn't text me. The one that uh, we missed out on that we saw was Buffy. Yeah, Buffy. Yeah, we didn't it. pick it up. Did they have a Guardian? People said it was good. They did have a Guardian. See, yeah, we missed out on Guardian. They had a Rocket. They had a Guardian, but he had, they had a lot too at CTs yeah. when we were there. I didn't so. get a lot of the Marvel ones like that. Like, I didn't, I didn't get Civil War. I bought about it. I just picked up a lot of indie stuff. Yeah. Molly, they look pick, great. Molly got uh, Grumpy Cat. I have, Elliot Serrano's a writer on that. My He's wife and three writer isn't my he? wife and three kids. So we got fifteen books. Nice. And then the other place we got like you know twenty 50. books. You know can, what? Keith's Comics. We went to Keith's Comics first. Seven books per person. And this guy walks up. He had his wife, his kids. Everybody's getting seven books. He's carrying a baby and a carrier. He's like, "Do they get seven books?" They're like, "Yeah, what the heck?" He got. Everything, amazing. 
That is. You should have so, brought, brought Edward Puppick. You could have got seven more books. Um, can I have? And no, then, then, sorry, they're not rated but, P for puppets. And, and then take the Deadpool off, and it could be a little puppet, and he'd be all oh, set. Oh, yeah. No, then i got to put that little dirty mustache thing on him. <laughs> the dirty Sanchez. He loves the it. Dirty... <laughs> Lo- that Rob loves the little dirty mustache. And, so then, uh, and then Chris and I were out at CT Comics, CT Hobbies the, today CT, on nice. Belvedere. And uh, that was a blast, too. He was, was giving away nice. posters and stuff, yes. too. Molly got a Batman Day poster that was sweet. Yeah. Batman yep. Day from 2015, right? Yeah, I, I'm. You know, if today wasn't the way it was scheduled, I would I would have been up there with you guys. Like, it sure. just being in Belvedere just was not. I mean, it, it's 45 yeah. minutes and yeah. Well, I, I we would have been there earlier, and it might have been a different day, but we got in an accident on the way there today. Mm. Teenager hit us, sitting at a stoplight, turning right. Edward, boom! No, he's in Hawaii. <laughs> but yeah, he hit us, and it damaged our bumper, and it. It held us up, so well, free comic book as long day. As everybody's safe, made up for it. Yes, so. and then Chris, you got a couple of books, but you're not a big comic book reader. No, I'm not. But, but I got a Doctor scored. Who comic. I did. And uh, did you get any of the Doctor Who that were in the bin? I did. I bought uh, like five or six classics. They were a buck a piece. Were they the Marvel ones? I didn't see the Marvels. Chip uh, okay. picked them out for me. Chip had it all scouted out. He goes, oh, yeah, here. Yeah, the uh, iPhone is Uh-oh. Uh-oh. just focused on me. I mean, that's okay. Because I am amazing. With an S. <laughs> with a Z. <laughs> Actually, with a Z. With a... Amazing. So are we going to start this show or what? Now that yeah, we've got let's through ta- free comic well, you've book been day. Who's, got, free one? Comic book Who's day? got one? All right. Uh, well, I'll start with uh, Batman V. Uh, not Batman V. Superman, but no, Justice League. No, don't start with that. Justice League yes. has a new executive producer. Yes, yes it does. Bat Fleck yes. is uh, Bat stepping Fle- in. So Ben Affleck is uh, stepping into executive produce and kind of oversee Snyder. And kind of make got, it a movie. If you want me to stick around for this, right. we got to, okay, how about executive producer? Okay. And right. I get some say? Yeah. They, they got to do something. I'm telling you, that is a universe in trouble, and it's only been one movie technically. Suicide Squad's going to be great, but that doesn't feel like it's even in the same universe. Well, it will be because Batman will be in it. It'll be Ben Affleck. So that, okay. that's where you'll get that feel that it is in the same universe. And, and Wonder well, Woman is already yeah, in the can, what, so they got to release heard about it. the reshoots, they're trying to make it feel more like the trailer. The trailer doesn't feel like it's in the same universe, but they said that the movie that's screened to people totally does. It's humorless. Everything funny and like appealing is in the trailer. Oh. So they're going back and trying to reshoot stuff and change that because, yikes. As opposed to... Uh, sure. Civil War that is crushing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys both saw it, right? Yes, we did. I was waiting to the end to talk about that, but if you want to talk about no, it. No, no, let's wait to the end. Let's talk about other stuff. Because there's other stuff with the Marvel Universe that I was going to bring. I want to yes, talk about that yes, later. Yes, there is. Other, so what do you got, Chris? Mark my words. There's other stuff to talk about. <laughs> um, well, you know, since we're talking about DC, Jeremy Irons has confirmed that he's going to at least be in Justice League 1 as Alfred. Okay. So I don't know... Yeah, you, know, you can read into that what you want if he makes. Was he it in this sick. last one? I can't remember. Yeah, he's a uh, he's Alfred. I don't remember Alfred in the movie. Yeah, he's at, when he's in the Batcave. He he's fixing. Wait, he's you fixing, don't remember he's Alfred fixing in everything. the movie? In this movie, I yeah. really I you don't really, remember Jeremy Irons in the movie. He was fantastic too. He was talking to Ben Affleck in his earpiece. Oh yeah, when he yeah, was yeah, doing yeah. That. I remember he, that. I remember. You don't remember Martha? I'm telling you, the further <laughs> I'm getting away from this, the more I'm I'm wanting I mean, to genocide. I get it. Like and, the and movie, see, that's like what's funny. I wanted to bring this up. I watched. We're gonna talk about this in Real Idiots. I did it. I bit the bullet. I watched Fantastic Four this week. Ugh, it's did awful. you watch it? Yeah. Of, okay. Yes. I saw it opening All I want to say is I am still torn about which is worse. The, the Believe what? it or not, Batman, Superman, or Fantastic Four. I know. I know you like Batman, Superman. And, and I know where Fantastic Four goes off the mark. But if you take it without that and you take Batman, Superman without where it goes off the mark, I think Fantastic Four actually might have been a little better. There's no redeeming no. part of Fantastic Four. I'm a, I'm a, and you, and you know, I'm a 100% Marvel guy. Fantastic Four was worse. It was terrible, but... I mean, Bat- Batman v Superman at least had scenes that I enjoyed okay. watching while they were happening in the, in the fight scenes. There was no scenes here that I enjoyed watching. A- agreed. There were scenes here I was anticipating things to happen, like the build-up in the first half. Where you were seeing the group in the Fantastic Four get together 
and you're trying to see that them get together. They're they're building the whatever it was called. I I, I haven't watched it since. From so the I can't time remember. jump on, it's garbage. And then the, it, then it goes. Yeah. I mean, it's it's more utter than utter. It's, it's bad but, before. But there were scenes, yeah, and then and then Wonder Woman. Yeah, it, it's not worse. Okay, all right. So what else we got? Carl uh, Urban. Did you guys read this? No. Yeah, the, he wants Netflix or Hulu to. Of course do he does, because he wants to continue Dread to. Dread, but he's been very active to continue as Judge Dread. I thought I thought Dread was fantastic. I don't know what you guys thought. I loved that movie. No, it was good. I thought it was really cool, and Carl Urban was great in that role. They were trying to get a second one. They did that whole fan campaign, and they did the uh, watch on Netflix. I don't know if you guys remember that, but yeah. they, they wanted everybody to watch for 24 hours, and I just put mine on repeat and just kept watching it. And, and you know, I've uh, never seen that movie. It, it's really great. I know. I, I keep yeah, hearing it. I haven't seen well, it. It's really good. It's good. He is indicating, there was a rumor before, I think we may have talked about it on this show, that they were trying to do a series. They were trying to get Netflix or Amazon to take it was a look one at of a them, yeah. yeah, or Hulu. It was somebody they wanted to get. Going. But he's actually said this week that they are in conversations with both of them. That means things are moving forward. Uh, Is this like? Um, sorry, go ahead. I, but they're looking I to do like... now. I don't know if they're looking to do a series or. I think he wants a movie. Yeah, I think a made it's a, for yeah, made for Netflix, made or for made Netflix for Hulu movie. movie. Yeah, and Which I'd be is fine because that. that's getting popular now. I mean, that is, I'd be fine with that. I mean, especially Beast, for, Beast uh, from No Nation. I mean, that was a Netflix movie, and, right. and it was, and it was very fantastic. popular on Netflix. It it ran great for them. So I think they have a real shot, and I think Amazon wants to be competitive enough that they might look at that too. You know, who's Maybe. not looking at it is Crackle. Uh, they're too busy <laughs> making Joe Dirt three. And uh, Ooh. Hey. whatever, you whatever watch works. Idiot 2? Did you watch Idiot no. Two? Holy cow! Which is worse, Batman, Superman, or Joe Do Three? Joe Joe Do Three. Joe Do Two. Absolutely. You just, he's got a, you he's just want to keep thing. digging the hole oh, for Batman. He it. does. I had to do it to dig at Chris a little bit, but I got to tell you, man, you know, that it, Joe Dirt was mind-numbingly bad. It made Sharknado look like an Oscar winner. Nice. No, yeah, Joe Dirt's bad. Did you see the new uh, poster for Sharknado 4? Yes. Did you see that? The no. Shark it, Awakens. It, it, it looks like it's like the Force Awakens. It's like a Star Wars well, there's even, poster. She's even got a lightsaber yeah, she's got up a, on it's top. A, it's fantastic. And, and in the middle, he's holding up the, the uh, chainsaw, and it looks yeah. like Evil Dead. Nice. Yeah. It's, they're pulling in all the uh, we get, we, all have the a, we have somebody cast as a young Han Solo. Yeah. Yes. Now, do you guys know this guy? No, I, and I don't even know how to say his name. Uh, Alden Enrich. Yeah, where do Fun. I have him? You no, know, it's, it's like Aaron, Aaron Reich. Aaron Reich. Aaron yeah. Reich. There you go. Alden from? Aaron Reich. Uh, you know, Alden. Aaron I haven't Reich. seen the movies he was in. He was in a couple of things, but the mm-hmm. the one that you would know was a recent one that you saw. Was it wasn't Bridge of Spies? It was. Uh, oh no, Hail Caesar. The Coen Brothers movie? I didn't see that. I didn't oh, see I it. Oh, I thought you saw it. No. You didn't see it. I thought you had. He plays like a cowboy in it. When you see the picture of him in the cowboy outfit, kind of looking up, totally looks like a Harrison Ford role. Like, I, I, I bought it. Like, okay. That's probably why he got cast. He kind of has that look. He doesn't really look like Harrison, but he looks like he's got that kind of swagger to him. Yeah, okay. Caesar Stoker. I just hope he does an impression the whole time. Chewy. Yeah. Chewy. <laughs> he could do David to company. That would be <laughs> that would be great. Give me your best Han Solo, uh, Scully. We're home, Chewy. Have you guys seen the uh, Deadpool Blu-ray commercials? No. <laughs> they're they're parodying like like drug ads like on yeah, TV, nice. and they're pretty funny. Like you know, if you have like stomach issues, you know, yeah, watch yeah. Deadpool. If you have this dysfunction, yes. They're pretty awesome. So if you're old enough, go on. If you're uh, old enough, go kids? on YouTube. So your no. kids, so your kids are gonna watch it. Is what you're saying? My kids, my, oh yeah, they've already seen Deadpool. <laughs> we're, my we're five th- year olds. Yeah, we were thinking of a new uh, game show. Is would a little let his kids watch this movie? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we we're gonna we really don't know what the line. I told is. you there's there's not you know uh, violence doesn't bother me right. for them. I mean yes, there's egregious violence, but you know. Right. Well, we were just using it as a joke. So. Yeah, no, you, you, no, we're we, going to we really do play that. I play we're going to play that, and we're going to play the What Can Martha Remember game. <laughs> and it's just going to be an play abuse this. of everybody that's on our shows. We're going to have what? my mom guess who's dead, and she's going to have to come up here and try to guess without looking at the phone. Without looking at the phone. Ava Goda every day. For she knows that one. Um, 
Did you guys see? I'm switching to to video game. Did you guys see the trailer for Battlefield One? No. Do you guys know what Battlefield is? You ever play that? I do. It's like a call of Battlefield type. Earth. No, no. Battlefield. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. no. Hold I on. Wish. Now, worst movies. That could be the worst movie <laughs> that might of be all the time. Worst. And I love that book too. It's awful. Yeah. And there's like an eight foot tall John Travolta in it. Yes. Is what? he eight feet tall? I've never well, they, Yeah, he is. He's giant the, in it. The cyclos in it are supposed to be like half again as big as humans, so they're like between eight Are and you here to kill us? What? Huh? You're going to shoot us? Where? Do, 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 that, that was do, do, terrible, do. terrible Travolta <laughs> accent. Or no, whatever it was enough that you knew who it was. No, I just knew who it was because we're talking about it. Nobody else knew who it was. <laughs> she knew. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> Good thing That's, it was on video. Um, it's on video. Well, so anyway, Battlefield One. They're calling it Battlefield One. The trailer is amazing. Supposedly, it's real gameplay sh- footage. You know, they all say that, and then you play it, and you're like, "Wait a minute! Which, Why yeah. does this look like Pac-Man?" But it really <laughs> looked amazing, Martha. But the idea is, you know how they've done these, and it's like this is really World War Two. This one, it starts out, you think it's really World War One. They're going back. No, it's an alternate history one. So it, it has elements of old warfare, futuristic stuff. It looked freaking amazing. Yeah, good. Yeah. So I just got to recommend that one. And the best part, see the trailer, if nothing else, because they used a, a, an alternative version of Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes is the music. Nice. And it is awesome. I was digging it. I had to watch it three times because the music was so good. If, okay. if, 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 if that's all you got out of it, then that's good. If no, that's I the got best a thing, lot so. out of it. I enjoyed well, that's it. Good. I'm, I'm just saying. saying the music was really good. That's good. Do you guys check out the new Black Panther suits? I mean, Power Ranger suits that they put out? <laughs> Black Panther? <laughs> Did you see the new They're Power Iron Rangers? Iron Man totally. suits. They, They're like, they look like Black, pa- Black Panther suits, not they, Iron they Man look suits. Like, no, they, they look like no, both. They, they kind of look have, like they both. Have like, they have the diamond, like, but it's like... Sh- they but shine they already, the light directly on it to make it look like it illuminated. Well, I know, but it looks like an Iron Man suit. Well, it's got the same. I'm just saying it's. Yeah, but the shape. Total I totally saw suits. the the shape of the helmet. The helmet, yeah. Totally. Or, or Ant Man. They were very Ant Man ish or black. Here, black here's the other thing. Did you notice that the Sorry. Green Ranger in the picture? <laughs> it's essentially the same outfit that Rita Repulsa is wearing in those pictures that came out. Mm-hmm. So is that going to be the big secret that Rita Repulsa is one of the main rangers or something? And you know what? Frankly, I don't care. Wait, there's a green ranger? I didn't yeah, s- look at the, look at the isn't, poster. Isn't I'm looking that, at it right now. There's no green ranger. It's yellow, black, red, pink, and blue. There was a green ranger picture in there. I swear to you. Hey, nope. welcome! Um, welcome to podcasting where we're checking out stuff on the <laughs> internet while we talk Everybody to you. Everybody talk amongst yourselves talk while we look this up. up. But you know what? It, it, it looks hey. like Rita Repul- okay, Hey, for, you're supposed to be, you have I'm, a job to do. Because there's only tag. five Rangers cast. There's no Green Ranger in this. If there isn't, look <laughs> at the outfits anyway. It looks, Rita Repulsa's outfit looks exactly like the Ranger outfit. No, it's just, it's just that, that stylized color. It doesn't it's, look like a Ranger. No, no, no. Look at I've the shape. Her. Look at the cut. It looks totally like it when you see them side by side. But again, it's the same stylistic. It's like you're taking like a drawing, like you're taking a Kirby art and you're looking at all the costumes that Kirby drew. They all have similar lines because that's how Kirby drew them. Okay. I don't, I don't look at it that she looks like she's got a Power Rangers outfit on. I'm looking at it. To me, it doesn't. Okay. All right. I mean, yeah, they're. I'm not marking any words on this one. I am. I mean, I'm, I I'm have not, to. I I'm going to have to watch it. But yeah, I don't actually care about seeing the movie. I'll watch it, but there's, that's not one that I'm like. I gotta go see it in the theater. Do you guys care about it? You don't care about it, right? I'm going to have to see it in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> a little <laughs> hot buttered. A little wants to go just for the popcorn. That's what I would do. But yeah, so. you know what? If, if it's on five dollar Tuesday, five dollar Tuesday, I'll go. Greatest thing. No, ever. I gotta go opening night because I gotta review it. Oh, you have to go to what? You I have to go, like go opening night because we got to <laughs> review it. <laughs> Steve's a big uh, Power Rangers fan on our show. That is the worst. Do you guys care about the Power Rangers movie at all? No. Anyone? How about you guys? Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Do you it's watch like, them now in Nickelodeon? Do? Molly, do you care? Power Rangers? She likes everything geek. She's going to be she like, She is so I like Martha. It. Yeah. I don't know. I, even these pictures, I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> We don't uh, know. How about this? Did you guys know that at Great America Santa Clara, California, on May 18th, they are launching a Mass Effect ride? Mass Effect? Yeah. I got one more video game thing here, and that's this. 
It's called New Earth 4D. So they're doing one of those 4D things. Like you, it, it's not like a roller coaster. It's like one of those rides, like an immersive ride, like Back to the Future was. Okay. Or you sit there and they spray water. Uh, in it's your not face like Back to the Future was because Back to the Future. No, no. The, the, the new rides, like the Transformers ride, the Spider Man ride, those rides. That's 4D. That yeah, because those rides, you're on in motion through the ride, and you are in a full 3D screen around you, and oh, things nice. are moving around while you're. While you're moving through oh, the ride. Oh, is that how it is? Yeah. Okay. Back to the Future ride, you were sitting stationary, does, rumbling back and forth. And that's, just no, that. I love the Mass Effect games, but does that have enough to be a ride at a, at a park? Yeah, I'm sure you can make it into a ride. I mean, Why it sounds not? awesome to I me. Don't know, I don't know the popularity, like if it's going to be a sustaining Do you guys popularity. Know Mass Effect? Mass Effect should be That's a good, lot though. of crickets out there. I love those games, but I, just, I think it's a kind of a weird choice. I hope I, it's good, though. Maybe, maybe I, I don't know who enough. you're pointing at. Nathan. As a ride. <laughs> Nathan. Nathan, Mass Effect 4 ride, would you be in, into that or not? Mass Effect 4 Yeah. Like a theme park ride. Have you ever been in Universal Studios? Yes. Do you know what have a theme park on, is? Have you been on the Spider-Man ride at Universal? If they do it right, sure. I'd be down with that. If they do it right. Okay. If they have a lot of inspiration, it would just have to be, like, not terrible. And you're only talking about, you're only talking there's, about, there's you're only talking about something that lasts, that lasts four to, you know, three to four minutes. You know, you're not talking about sure. something that... That you need an immersive story in. That might be you the need last the good time guy, to you the need audience. <laughs> ever, never going to ask anybody ever. Right. Anything. No, I know what you're I hope it's a totally immersive experience because I thought the game, the games are. It just right, but, like you, a but weird this is a theme park ride. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, all those like even. I mean, it's an immersive experience for a few minutes. It's a quick mm-hmm. experience. Right. You know, you get in, you get out. They they throw things at you. They stimulate your senses, and boom, you're out. Then you're out. So you know, you're gonna feel fire. You're gonna get water splashed on you. Something's gonna happen. You're gonna feel like bullets are bouncing around your lasers, or however they're gonna do it. And then boom, it's over. I mean, that that's how all the rides are. I mean, it's just a different experience. All right. All right. I'm down with it. We can do that. So, I, I read that Michael Shannon is in talks with uh, Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro yes. to be in that new supernatural. What, I, whatever I, it is. Whatever it is. They, they, this is Film the first number time. 762. Well, I've, I've the heard that it, it may be an adaptation of a book called The Shape of Water. That's what they're Ooh, throwing out there that, that it might be. I don't know what it is, but that's, that's the first time I've heard anything associated with what it. What is Shape of Water? I don't know. Oh. Let's but get it, into that in this conversation. It's supposed to be what, post-World War II, some kind of supernatural thing? I don't know. It All should right. be pretty good if they're pulling him in it. Are so. the Winchesters in it? I don't know. That'd be awesome. That wouldn't be a bad thing, so... Michael Shannon in anything, I'll take. The guy's fantastic. Yeah, and putting him with Guillermo del Toro, which means he's going to be in a movie with, with Doug, Doug Jones. Jones yes. <laughs> <laughs> Our guy, Doug. So we're into it. <laughs> Still so jealous I didn't get you know, Dude, hugged by awesome. Doug Jones. Be. He was on a free comic book day hugging us today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I told my wife, I'm like, I'm sure Rob will say something. Somebody was there that popped in. <laughs> Just the too no, much scrolling guys yeah, were there. Was chipping. Yeah, they, they came in. So. They came in. Do you care? I can send I've, them over I've to your house, them, I right? think. Yes. <laughs> they were at, they were at uh, last... Uh, they were here. Yeah. They were at the podcast marathon. They were, podcast yeah. marathon they were in here so. recently, yeah. though. Yeah. That, not that exciting. I like them, but it's no Doug Jones. Exactly. That's like I show up. Who cares? <laughs> uh, Michael, Trust me. <laughs> don't, I'm sure they're upset that you're comparing yourself to them. <laughs> right. That Rob well, guy? What? If, if anybody listened to this, then they'd be upset. That's right. Michael Giacchino is composing... Doctor Strange's music. This guy is a big time movie composer. He did Jurassic World. He's done all sorts of stuff. I think this is a great fit. He's going to make a big superhero soundtrack, which is good. You know, that's something that they get wrong sometimes. Is that like the Spider Man movies? As much as I love mm-hmm. those Raimi movies, those are not iconic Spider Man themes. They need somebody that writes an iconic no, theme. No, no, no. I got to disagree there. And Danny Elfman's score for Spider-Man? Nope. To me, it's for iconic. I can one. hear it. For, yeah, but the that's first it. one. But the first and second. Then, then Elfman and Raimi got into a little slap fight, and then boom, here comes uh, what's his face? Yeah, right. Who did the Hellraiser movies? I can't remember his name. Uh, but I do think that first Spider-Man movie, that first Spider-Man theme, was pretty iconic, and they did splice it into the further movies. I think if you hear it now, people hear it, they're gonna know it's Spider-Man. See, I couldn't well, recall it off the top of my head, so that's why I used that one as an example. Sing it, no, Will. Sing, sing it. it. Yeah, I'm not going to sing it. It's iconic. Let's hear it. 
I know it. I want we we actually had our well, wedding. I do, want you to, we had our wedding party walk out get, to it. Get a trumpet, put it in your belly button, and play it for everybody. That would be yeah, because I can do that. That would be a show. That I wouldn't would be, be on this show. <laughs> can we start doing that here? Stupid human tricks. Yeah, right. We're gonna steal Letterman's gigs. So. I got another one. What do you got? Go ahead. I just did one. Uh, Feige has hinted that Black Widow standalone film is going to happen. Can I talk about well, that see, one? We're, I was waiting you for gonna, all the yeah. Marvel stuff. All right, you guys didn't hear that. No, no uh, coming later. Just go ahead. No, just, how about me. this? Tom Hooper is directing Cats. Hooper. Who cares? Do I don't guys, care. Does no. anyone care about a Cats movie being made? No, you it's don't. not Grumpy Cat, and he already had a movie. <laughs> hey, right. Not only it was you, a Christmas not only, movie. Not she only wants to see Keanu. You've never that seen the it. Grumpy Cat oh, Christmas special? Oh, we still have we still have it on our DVR, oh, and it's two years old. And my wife and the kids still watch it. <laughs> my mom, I heard of that one. It's voiced by. Can you look up? Is Grumpy Cat alive? Can you look it's that voice, up? It's voiced by uh, what's it her Giamatti? face from Parks and Rec? Oh, Amy Poehler. No, the other girl um, with the dark hair. Oh. um... Yeah, she does the voice of Grumpy the, Cat. The one that like, was in, oh, really? The one that was in... Um, I mean, Grumpy Cat does this talk Pilgrim, to people. Right? Just, yeah. it's in, in the girl, mind. Audrey right. Plaza? Aubrey yeah, Audrey Plaza. Plaza. Audrey Plaza, Plaza yes. Oh. It took me a while. She's it was pretty, pretty terrible. I'm more interested in that than seeing a theatrical yeah, let's version Yeah, not talk about cats. cats. Well, I don't even know why you yeah, brought what, that up. I mean, how is that, how is Grumpy that even, Cat movie? I'm into How is that even geeky? That's not even... If we needed... If they were going to do another chorus line, would you be excited? No. Exactly. Like, It's like, oh, they're making another Rent. Why, are, yeah. why would we yeah. bring that up here? Nobody because, cares. Because you know what? It's a movie they call it and Asian people care. care. <laughs> Wait. That's the first because, thing Martha's been interested because in. Because my motivation <laughs> is to have us talk about she something. La- she laughed at something, finally. And we had A year and a half about. of doing this ring podcast. Bell, I win the pool money. <laughs> yeah, but wait, wait. This is Martha. That was a joke from seven days ago. She just got it now. So Last week? Yeah, it was right. probably one of mine, so it's okay. Probably one of mine. <laughs> okay, so, so take this for what it's worth. John Cho now has come out and said, this Star Trek is the best one of the three. So what is up? Wait, but who's directing it? This is a Simon Pegg. Who directed it? I can't remember. Who John Cho. No, he directed it. No, he didn't direct it. Pegg didn't direct it. Pegg no, Peg, Peg, writing it. Pegg was no, a writer. Peg, he co-wrote. It's uh, Justin Lin or somebody like that. Yeah, but he said, you know, I mean, Pegg said something a couple of weeks ago. Obviously, he wrote it. John Cho is now saying that this is the best. They say that. I mean, well, every I know, time but, a new right. one comes out, it's like, this is the best movie ever. I know, but... Ben Affleck, this was the best movie I've ever done. It was Until Batman we got sad Superman. Affleck. Oh, it wasn't. Until no, we they, had we be Affleck. It it's not. That's yeah. awesome. Hey. What was that? I, no, that's good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, commenting to myself. <laughs> so, I, I hope there's a tip. Yeah, um, I, mean, I hope it is. I like those first two. Agreed. <laughs> yes. Sure. Out there were cool. No, Plus, I, we're going to do a special Star Trek night, so we want it to be good. We do. We want the no, I want it there. to be good, but I, I, I get worried when I hear this this far in advance when the, the PR machine isn't going. Because yeah. you're right. I know they say it's great. If they're on Letterman or on whoever talking, saying, oh, this is the best movie, okay. Well, they're, follow, they're following the, the PR hype of, of Star Wars. I mean, Star Trek comes out, what, next year? No, no, no this, this summer. summer. Come August, on August, right? July or August? Yeah. Not July. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No. Yeah. I looked up the mm. dates. The, tell me the date. You looked it up. It is not A this July. Ago. Is this? When is it? July twenty second, two thousand sixteen. Really? Yes. yes. That's why it's it's like in the middle Boom. of it's in the middle. You know why I forgot about it because I'm gonna Boom. be on my cruise. <laughs> I was, that's why it's. Oh, I see. It's I was, all about a little. You can't. It, it, it is all it about is. me because I make a movie schedule for us to do our podcast. Um, and that was I didn't have Star I Trek. Think on we've there talked about this, and you said the same thing last time. I oh, probably yeah. did. Because it's all about a little. Because I don't care. I'm not here. I'm. I'll be in the <laughs> Bahamas to this week. Well, with we're a having little. two Star Trek nights. We're going to do one on September seventh. So you got to be here. Oh, for isn't that. that Doctor Who night? No, September seventh, seven of nine. Oh, that's right. We talked about that. I don't know what that means. I don't watch. There's a you character seven, seven of nine, nine is. It's no a character on there. Really? Voy- was she in Vo- not Voyager. Deep Voyager. Sh- Voyager. I don't. I watched Next Generation for a, a, a time frame. Oh, for and a that was time it. frame. That could be forty years. <laughs> a time frame could be anything. I watched it my entire lifetime. That is a time, time frame. frame. 
or a, a short time frame. Ten minutes. That is a time frame. Uh, probably a, a couple seasons. Okay. I've watched the movies. I, I just don't, you know, the, the TV series. Sorry. All right. It's not my Next thing. Generation was really good, especially at the time. So. Yeah, man. You just got to remember. It's, a, it's like, okay. I am younger than you guys, so I didn't, like, watch the original. But you would have been, like, the original, well, we the original. When the original did, but not when it was on. We, uh, Channel 32 but see, but when you, on reruns. But, but, when you yeah. watched, but when you watched it on Sunday reruns mornings, then, man. that was cool. When I watched the reruns, I thought it was dumb. You're like, so I great never, space coasters no, on. That's it, what I'm all up it, in. It was dumb when we were young. It really was. Oh, it's fantastic. It dumb. was good. It was a great show, and but it was dumb. And the cartoon series was yeah. so Don't great. Tribble. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Said done by Hannah Barbera, right? Yeah. Yes. It was, it was so good. And it's canon, too. Well, canon to that iteration. Well, they now did the show. But the, pro- the, the cartoons did the shows in cartoon form. Pretty much. Pretty much. It wasn't like they varied. It was like but they, they did call it canon. Well, it is because it's, it's the same they just show. Repeated themselves. They did. It was, but it was good. This show is canon then because we just keep repeating ourselves Good. on here. Crap. Although with his story, Crap. with my bad jokes. Yep. True. <laughs> true. True. Edward Puppet. I'm not making say a sense thing until we get to Edward's magic corner. All right. Well, oh, R- Russell Crowe is in early talks to join the Mummy. No. It, to do no. In the Mummy series, in the universe, in that universe, but yeah. not in the Mummy. Well, early talks to. For Universal's The Mummy, right? But he's he's going to do another character. Yeah, he's a different character. I don't he's think a he's in character. the movie The Mummy. I think unless well, no, he probably is if they do a cameo type thing. But he is supposed to be Doctor Jekyll. He's doing Jekyll and Hyde, right? That's what they're talking. It's in the yeah. same universe. Well, it says the Trey describes his part as a Jekyll-like role, but whether this means he'll be literally playing Doctor Jekyll, we nobody knows. It's unknown at this point. And production's oh, okay. Because the, the one I read, the article I read. Said, and that was some variety, he was, he, and um, he was up for, or they were talking to him about being Doctor Jekyll for a Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde movie. Oh, hi, Chris! I'm he, trying he, to. Hi, he's waving to the internet. Hi, internet. Uh, <laughs> uh, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde, Don't listen to these in guys. that new Universal universe that is starting with the Mummy. Well, and they might bring him in for. I, I don't want to say a large part, but maybe a, a, a Black Panther type part. Right. Spider-Man type part, you know, something yeah. like that, and then, boom, you get you your own movie. Spoilers. Black Widow and Cap Two or in Iron Man Two. Iron Man yeah. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Could Nick. Be. Nick. We're not talking I mean, uh, Marvel yet. You need. Uh, yes. Vanilla. He needs you. one. You get me one too. Big one. A lot. Two shots. <laughs> Sorry. Or order, order me one while you're at it. Um, what set us up? You know what? Just bring so, a bring a van over. Bring here, a battle. Would you? So Jared Leto is reportedly going to be Lestat in a new uh, interview with yes. the Vampire reboot. Why? Is, I don't know why they're rebooting it because they no, have nothing you know better what? to do. I do think they should because they got they got really one movie in, and then they Tom tried Cruise to do nuts. the rest and they didn't work. And that series of books should totally be made. Those are Anne, Anne Rice, right? Yes. Did you read those yes. books? No. I did, I yeah. thought they were and the. And really, Interview with a Vampire was a great place to start, but Lestat is when that becomes incredible. Right. And they never pulled the trigger on it. It never happened. Tom Cruise was the wrong guy for that role, too. I, I think that whole, that whole movie was miscast. I mean, I don't, I do I don't even like Brad no, no. Pitt in it. One character wasn't. Banderas? No, oh, okay, yeah. It was great. But yeah, that, that had problems. Is that if the one wanna, that, uh, what's your particular one, uh, didn't she win an Academy Award for it? Who? Kristen Dunst. Isn't did she, she win an Academy Award as the kid? She did. She, did she win was Academy. nominated. I don't well, know if she won. she won. I thought I she won. I can't remember if she won. Really really good in that. No, she was really good She was that. that kid. Yeah, the she last was. vampire movie I remember is Embrace the Vampire with Alyssa Milano. <laughs> <laughs> you. If you want to look at some, 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 <laughs> sk- <laughs> some skin of no, skin the, Max stuff. Love at First Bite. That's Love at First Bite. Love at First Bite. I saw that in the theater. There's no kids around, so we'll talk about Alyssa Milano and Embrace the Vampire. Love at First Bite is the one that has that song. Um, I like the nightlife. Remember yes, that one? I, I like, like the nightlife. Night I like to book it. And George Hamilton dances out there. And then it has the line, if you're a vampire, That's how do you have a tan like that? <laughs> it's amazing. 70s. It is. 70s vampire uh. flicks. Um, <laughs> I can't, but I think this is, I think it is ripe to be redone. And I think that it's ripe as, as a property if you get the right people in place. Hire a top-notch writer 
get a top-notch director and put... But, I think Jared Leto would be great but, in that but role. But this has been done before. And is it a little bit out of date to do it or not? Don't do it as interview. Do See, it as list style. I, I, here's my problem with all this is because you're going to invest... You bring in a Jared Leto and you're probably going to invest a lot of money into uh-huh. this movie. And I don't think you're going to pull the audience in that you need at this time. Right, this moment the Twilight in time era they, is over for well, them. But they've done zombies and vampires to death. I mean, how many more vampire movies can we have? It, right, so but, you, but you need, but you need a you need a break though. You need sure. some kind of break or some kind of bridge before you can then go into a hardcore vampire series. Right, because I don't think I don't think there's an audience ready built for this because no. people are going to go into it and expect a oh it's Jared Leto he's shiny and beautiful oh I want to see right. you know this right. and it's like. I, I hope they don't get that. Yeah. And that's my fear then, because then the studio's going to be like, well, we, we can't, we're not going to be able to but, market this but thing. if they right. started it with the Lestat story, where he's the rock star and everything. They could. I mean. That could be the launching point that bridges it, that gets you into that, where you go, you're watching this, and he is Jared Leto, and he's not being the Joker, and you're going like, okay, I can buy this, and then he goes all vampire on you, and you go, whoa, what am I watching? Right. That might work. Interview. Has been done. I don't see that same movie. Yeah, but they, some period piece in French New Orleans. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, they, I, I just I just worry because we had that other Dracula movie that came out. It was it Dracula Untold? I can't remember. Love at First Bite. No, but one that they were trying to be George serious and, 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 and bring the yeah, CG they, and yeah, Dracula Untold. Just, but right. it was garbage. It, exactly. That's what I'm worried that these studios are going to do. But if, sure. if they have good writers, if they put the money behind it, and they get good people involved. All right, well, bring it back to Marvel, and then they'll do but it. Do they need to let the zo- <laughs> bring do, everything do, back to Marvel? Bring it back to Marvel. Do they need to let all the zombie and all the all the other vampire stuff kind of sit for a few years? Because are, are we super? They gotta wait. Out? They gotta wait for Walking Dead to be over before they do that. That might never be over. Yeah, but that that is what keeps the fuel. But I going. guess here's sure. the thing. Here's the, here's the thing that I would do. Is I would try to. I, I actually think that this would work better as a series, like on Netflix. Oh, it'd be amazing, probably. Yeah, because you can get you can get more in depth with the character. You and, can and do you can more. totally Game of Thrones this thing. Not, you could oh, yeah. do ten episodes a season, and each Let one is go. one of the books. You you've got six seasons or whatever right, ready th- made, and they would be amazing. There you go, Showtime. There is your challenge for Game of Thrones. There you go. Right. Pick this thing up and start doing it, and start to get that money back. There you go. Beat HBO too. Unless Crackle I'm, gets it. Well, <laughs> Joe Dirt too. Joe Dirt. You just love I, <laughs> Joe you, Dirt the series. I can't, I can't believe out of all the movies on your stack he, of shame and movies that them. you haven't seen that are good, you watched Joe Dirt too. I didn't. I watched part of it and went whoa. But, but the fact that you even turned it on to watch a minute <laughs> of that movie with having so Who's many things out by there, that? you're not surprised by that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that cared about what you were saying. That's right. Wow. The bus Holy is, cow. The Martha bus is coming. So. Uh, okay, so uh, Fox is tapping Seth MacFarlane to do a sci-fi dramedy I'm kind of project. It's going to be out. so awful. Yeah, I don't know about I'm this. I'm done with Seth MacFarlane. So am I. Come on. Family Guy's still good. No, you know, you know I watched Family I, I Guy. I saw Family time. Guy after the after the season two or three. Right. I, that, I didn't I'm, fall I off until it. it came back, and the first season it came back, I was like, yeah, it's all right. And I lost interest so quickly that now whenever I see exactly. it, it's, just, it's a that's same. the problem with the show. You you mm. you know what? As much as people say, well, the, you know, The Simpsons and all this stuff. You know what though? But they try to do some new things. Right. There Family is, Guy's there the same is thing no, over and over. There is and over. no you know Peter Griffin is just an awful character. Yeah. Yeah. Made him a lot of money, but... Hey, you yeah. know, good for him. Good I would rather him, see know. Mike Judge do this. Yeah. Because he does Silicon Valley, which is amazing. He's Office going... Space was amazing. Beavis and Butthead is amazing. I he, thought Do he, America he, was he a great King movie. of the Hill, too? Yeah, King, King of the Hill, Hill, too. And that was a amazing. great show. Yeah. I thought that so, was anyway. Good. Um, I, guess, I guess it's time to talk about Marvel. Wait, wait. What about just, we got a couple more? We got a Idr- couple more. Idris Alba? Yeah. You see that Idris Elba is in talks to to uh, star in Aaron Sorkin's Molly's Game, which is right now uh, starring Jessica Molly, are you Chastain. getting money for that? You're getting money? They took for Molly's name. Game? But Excellent. I don't know what it's about, but if those two are in it, I don't care. I'll go see yeah, it. Yeah, Idris Elba, I'm in. Who's the other one in it? Jessica Chastain. Done. That's and awesome. She's good, so. Uh, Adam McKay 
is directing. This sounded really interesting, although it's Fox. So interest level, temporary. Sketchy. He was up to direct Ant-Man. He was up to direct, I forget, another one. And they, did, they kept falling through. Well, now he is on to direct one called Irredeemable. Hmm? Have you read the this? The Life of Rob Southgate? Yeah. <laughs> Have you read this comic <laughs> book? The door opened. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> you got to so walk awesome. right through. Have you read I haven't read it. Um, I haven't read it, no. but I, I've heard so it's pretty good. The, the premise, in a nutshell, at least as far as I understand it, is it's like a Superman-type character, but he snaps at some point, kind of like in the DC universe in the movies, and he starts killing. So then they have to manufacture another hero to stop him. A little bit of the, the story of uh, Megamind. But mm-hmm. I was just about to say that, yeah. It sounds... When I read the description and I was looking at the images from the comic, I thought, this could be really cool. And the review of the comic that I read was excellent. It's kind of like Invincible, like the first time I read about Invincible, and I was like, oh, this looks okay. And then I started reading the books, and I, the reviews I read said it was amazing. I get like 10 issues in, and I went, holy cow, is this a great mm-hmm. book. Similar to this. It had that feel to me. So I'm down with that. Cool. S- uh, Supergirl. Yeah. That's it's not official. Nothing's official, but it looks like it's probably going to go to WB. Right. Yeah, CW. People, CW. People love this. I don't know what it Whatever is. Whatever it is. The, the, no. Whatever. It's, it's a CW. Flash channel. Um, <laughs> fine. It's the it's same the, people running it. should it. go. It's the tween channels. What yeah. It is. Get, it off, get it off there. Let it go there. Uh, stop. It's good. I, I, it's a good show. I love it. It would fit right next to, to the Flash. Well, it absolutely Arrow. would. So. In fact, they might let Arrow die at that point because Arrow is getting worse and worse from what I hear. They won't. Get it over there. Stop spreading too thin. Fix Arrow. Keep Flash. What's John Berman going to do if they cancel it? Uh, maybe they'll uh, bring back uh, Torchwood. Torchwood. That'd be good. Uh, we got a couple more here, and then we'll get to it. Space Jam 2 is happening. <laughs> Uh, Justin Lin is in talks to helm with LeBron James playing the league. I can't believe he just cheered. Oh, I can't he, believe it either. He posted it right when it came out. He goes, did you hear it? It happened a couple hours ago. They're going to do it with LeBron. Oh, I'm not happy awful. about any of it. That, did you guys see the first one? I love the first one. No, okay. All right. I'm is, sorry. I was at, it, was not, it, was, it was 95. All right. I was, right I in, I was in high school. Yeah. Right but in it was Jordan. Yep. And I love Jordan. I loved it. And the my bug. kids now love it because Jordan I had the Bugs DVD. Bunny. Bill Murray's funny in it. I had the Hair Jordans. I had those shoes, too. Of <laughs> course he did. I did. I loved them. <laughs> now he has thinning Hair Jordans. <laughs> Are they going to bring old man Jordan back? That would be great. Like, I could still sure, do it. I'm sure he'll have It'll a cameo perfect. in It'll it. It'll be, be, like, be like old man Logan. He yes, shows up old all man Jordan. grizzled, missing an eye. Urgh. Edward's very disgusted he, by this. He still thinks he could probably play dudes. Supposedly, Jordan plays one on one with draft picks, and he beats some of them when they come in. Like the, oh, he really? gets them on the team. Oh, yeah, yeah. he he, dude, Jordan <laughs> he's can 50, still he's play. He's older than me. He can still play. Uh, still not there yet. Dan Aykroyd claims he's working on an animated Blues Brothers film. <clears throat> Blues like Brothers four thousand. Back in the early nineties, I wrote a letter to Dan Aykroyd pitching him on the idea of an animated Blues Brothers film. And do you have a copy of this? No. And Stamped. It's on and his. I'm sure it never got to, to Dan Aykroyd, but I have said this for years. Forget, this was before Blues Brothers 2000. I knew that was garbage. This is the way to go. The only problem is if they make it, it, it they have to do it right. You got to get somebody like a Ralph Bakshi to animate it so it mm-hmm. looks almost rotoscoped. Uh, something really hip, because if it looks like a Pixar movie, it's not going to work. Oh, no. If it looks like anything that is, it has to look kind of rotoscoped, and it has to be R-rated. It has to have, not even R-rated, but the way they were R-rated. Because that movie is rated R. The first well, one's rated R, and it shouldn't be. It's right. G. Well, back it, then it, it was. Right, but it, it needs to be that type of thing. They can bring back Scatman Carruthers. It'll be great. Trailers, two to mention. One, The Shallows. Did you watch that trailer? Nope. Yes. It's uh yeah, she gets bit by a shark and this looks so stupid. It does. It and looks it, and then Green Lantern comes and saves her. It but. it looks so 
Same. With a Hot Wheel, big green Hot Wheel. Um, it's a big. It's, it's like, no, he's got bad shark repellent. <laughs> that would be that great would be if he pulled that out. The girl swims awesome. out too far, or she's swimming in this area, and a shark bites her. Then she that that shot of the guy getting eaten by the shark is Sharknado quality. It was it was Shark Awful. Avalanche. Yes, quality garbage. Besides Jaws, what is the best shark movie? Deep Blue Sea. No. That's awful. Besides Jaws, but, name another one. I love Deep Blue Sea. When, when Sam Jackson is doing his speech yeah, and, he gets bit, and that amazing. shark pops out and just picks him. It's amazing. I was just like, oh, this That's is great. Awful. But that if you want to say Thomas good Jane one, is aw- it's uh, uh, awful. Thomas Jane is awesome. Thomas Jane is awesome. LL awful. Cool Jane's the, sh- the cook. Yes. Yeah, and he's hiding amazing. in the ship. Come on. Jane? It is. A little, oh. I'm with you. But if you want to Will talk Obey, about that who that's Deep Blue Sea to me is my Jaws. <laughs> Jaws is the only. Oh, no. Jaws, I, Jaws I, 3D. Somebody give him the mic cable that Jaws doesn't work. Jaws 3D, as awful as that, is better than Deep Blue Sea. No. 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 Yes. No. no. It's awful. No. no. Come on. Serious Sam Jackson is bad. Oh, it's terrible. But, but <laughs> I think it's the it's second awful. best shark movie. Think of another one. You know what's going to be? And then it? Sharknado will be three. The first when, Sharknado, terrific. <laughs> when, when it's terrific. It's terrific in its it own was badness. Amazingly bad. Yes. When the USS Indianapolis comes out, that's going to be one or two on shark movies. What about that one where they get stranded? The, the open diamonds? water? Open water. No. There was a shark in there. Yeah, but that's not that great. It's all it's right. better than that. <laughs> it's better than that. Did you see the new apocalypse? Jabberjaw was Jabberjaw. There then. Yes, Jabberjaw. <laughs> the special Olymp- the Laugh Olympics. Olympics. Jabberjaw is the best shark movie. Uh, did you see the new? Ap- well, they've been running it, but they burn it in the apocalypse with the, the psi whip. No, Have I haven't seen watched it. it. I've, I've been kind of avoiding for it apocalypse. Now we've, we've I, been, I haven't seen it now. It's pre- they added her with the whip. It's fantastic. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, the trailer. We got to tread lightly on this one. The trailer for Bad Moms. Did you see that? Yeah. Why do we have to tread lightly? Well, it's not for the Red Band trailer. No, but this movie looks funny. I thought it looked. It funny. could be either really funny yeah, yeah. or really so this, bad. There's that part about halfway through when Kristen Bell says something, and even in the trailer, it falls so flat. You're like, uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Like it starts out and then it ends well, and I'm yes. like, but but the it, stuff that works is really funny. The bra, the one when she's wearing the sports bra, right. that part was killing me. She's wearing a sports bra, and the girl's like, I don't think is it was this a sports bra. I think it was just like a really heavy padded Yeah, but yeah. she's like, bra. is this, what is this? Is this your mom? Oh, is that one boob? And then she goes, this is my sexy bra. <laughs> you just like because you saw Mila so, Kunis. So. No, it was so just hilarious, this is, I'm going to contend that those, those three should be in... Ghostbusters, and then the Ghostbusters girls should be in this movie, and it might make. Both I think that's of them a better. brilliant. What I think idea. that might make both of them better. Yes, and throw Amy Poehler on the Ghostbusters just yes, because. <laughs> absolutely. Did you guys read or Tina that, Fey, that, the, the thing with Melissa McCarthy? She was on a radio show this week, and they asked her about like, so it's like the most hated trailer on YouTube, and she said she just like flat out went, "Yeah, that was a terrible trailer." She's like, "I, I was surprised." She goes, "That's not the movie we made." And she was, it wasn't this, like, spin. It was, like, compl- I mean, she's pretty honest when you hear her on stuff. She was, like, she goes, what was that beginning where it says 30 years ago? She goes, that's not in this movie. This isn't a sequel. She goes, what was that? She said, she goes, it's, yeah. she goes you, uh, she's so, like, freaked out that people are going to not go because of that awful trailer. They're she, not. Right. And she said, she said they got to do some she's damage right. control. She goes, it's a great movie. She goes, it's funny. That's all it has to be is funny, and it is. She goes, that trailer... Not funny. It's got to be funny. Look, who, look who's in it. They could just show up and be funny. Even if it's not great, they should be funny with it. They should be. I would have rather seen Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. I'd rather see Amy Poehler group. and Tina yeah. Fey in just about everything. Right. <laughs> give, Although, me, give, give me that group doing Ghostbusters. Yes. Yes. Well, and throw in McKinnon Maybe. and throw in whoever Amy you want, Poehler McCarthy or fantastic. Jones. One of them. I think they would be great. Take, take, take the Parks and Rec. Take uh, What's Her well, Name. Well, the problem is, is all of them are funny That we already talked about. Take oh, Aubrey, Aubrey Plaza. Plaza, Aubrey Plaza, Amy Poehler, Tina Fey, and then who do we get? Melissa McCarthy. We'll throw her in. There's your group. Who are you going to call? They'd be funny. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, yeah. He shows up as Slimer. <laughs> and, and we make fun of it until we see it, and then we love it. 
Like, I, I would, uh, it would be better if it was I, Bill Murray. I would Murray. take it, though. It would be great, better if it was Bill Murray. Shut up a slime. And if it was like a ghost of Bill Murray. Yeah, and a slime. A yes. ghost so of like, Bill Murray. Mm. Yeah. That would be fantastic. And, and all he does just is make hot dogs in his mouth. They're like, what, what awesome. happened? And he just says something, and it's a reference to Zombieland. <laughs> I was screwing around. Him, and it's in the shot. same universe as Zombieland. Him Zombie and Eisenberg. Land. I got shot in the head. Was, yes, was, same universe as Zombieland. That would be great. They make a reference to a, you know clowns turning into zombies. Who was the other? Amazing. With like a big chest wound from being shot with a shotgun. <laughs> How come every week we solve all the problems, the problems. of Hollywood and we Who's never the guy that was get a, a call? Who was the guy that was a reporter in that that he called? He called us. In, in, in Ghostbusters, who was the guy that was out to get him that, from the EPA that went to, you know. Oh, they, what's his name? I don't know his name. But that would be great if he showed up as a ghost. I think oh, that'd just be great. Be, just bring back everybody. Yes. Just bring them all back. It'd be, br- the it'd be good. entire cast. Recut the trailer. Right. Just make them all ghosts. <laughs> make them all ghosts. <laughs> a ghost. Dan Aykroyd's supposed to be in it, too. You think he'll be a ghost? Bill Murray's not playing the same character. He's not playing Peter Venkman. Is, he's I don't, not, I don't, none of the them are. Is Eddie right. Murphy going to be a homeless universe. guy with the... That's what's going to happen. They're not going to be background fodder. That's going to make me mad. Or they're going to try to give them all their little wink and nod, and then right. that'll make me mad, too. Just sure. like, right. why even do it this way? Like, will be either... so mad through this whole thing. It's probably yeah. going to be great, so watch it. All right. Even though my, kids save, my son's saving up money for all the toys... Because all the new toys are out. Yeah, well, uh, there's a new Puppet Master reboot coming out. It's called The Littlest Reich. <laughs> I just had to bring that up. Thanks. All right, Thank Marvel you. news. Let's do it. We got lots of Marvel news. The well, Reich. I mean, you brought up you brought it up at the start. I mean, Kevin Feige wants to you know confirm He's that they want a Black this. Widow He's been movie. About it, but he said, and we're doing this. Well, I could see Phase Four doing yeah. a Black Widow movie or. Or a Netflix. You series. go with the Netflix thing because I think Netflix I still is think the better way to go. I, especially after watching Civil War and seeing her and seeing even Renner for a small period of time, like yeah. a small, you know, mm-hmm. cameo, I guess you could even would, say for Renner. Would they do? He was in a lot of the movies. I mean, he said a, he would. It's a cameo, but it's a lot of, he's got a lot of time. He I said mean, he would do, he said he would do a Netflix series. Cool. I think, I think most of them are. I mean, especially after you're seeing Kevin Spacey doing his series. You're right. Seeing, and you're seeing you know, the quality oh. of Jessica Jones and Daredevil. I sure. mean, Come on, if this is the way they they're know do it. they're, they're getting paid as, the same, they're going to do it. As much as I would like to see Black Widow be a movie, because I think that would be good for comic book films, I think that that character and her acting on a Netflix series would be so sure. engaging. And you could tell that whole Russian spy story. Make it, make it a Cold War type thriller yeah. with Black Widow. I would yeah, be. Yeah, but my problem down is they can't that. wait much longer. And I'm not saying that that's. That, Scarlett Johansson is looking old, right. but there's going to be a point of time where she's not going to look the way she did in Iron Man Two, right? And but yes, could, they can CG and you know. But you could pull this off if they, if they pull it off in the next yeah, but, four years. But here's a pro- they here's, could do it. Here's the but, problem: but they got all the movies listed out till 2019. The, the that doesn't the matter. They, they've already reshuffled it a little bit. Well, I know, but they're, they're not going to reshuffle what they have that they reshuffled. And they said the they're not going to. They, he said point. he's not going to do that. And they've already but it goes got, to what 2020. 2020 so or 2020 end of 2019. Start. So yeah. they, so could, they, start. they could sh- actually shoot Black Widow in 19. Anytime. But they'll be shooting Infinity War Part 2. Right, but if the Russo finishing, brothers... I mean, by the time they get but think out, about this. They, do the, they do the media blitz for it, there's but not going to be a lot of time. Well, no, they could totally... Be, if Black Widow is hardly in the first Infinity War, she doesn't even need to be in the first one. Put her in the second one or have a cameo in the first one. You've got an entire production schedule there that she could be, they could be doing this production on Black Widow. They're going to film both of them at the same time. They have to. Don't you think? What, yeah, they're both a year apart. The they're going to film her together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to take up the whole time. Right. right. Because they, what they're going to have to do is they're going to release the they movie. Could technically they're do still going to have stuff. things that they're going to have to finish sure. up. They could technically do her stuff in a certain amount of time. And while the Russos and everybody mm-hmm. are working on that, they could be doing Black Widow, have full production going on that, and have it come out quickly. It would I, be nice if they could, because I think it'd be a great movie, but... I think Black Widow is ripe well, for how, this. Well, how long do they have Netflix planned out? Because they have the next phase of Netflix already done, right? No. I thought they did. All no? they've told us is Punisher. We've talked about what the next phase is, but they have not made anything well, what, official. What are they doing with um, the next And Punisher is release? considered phase two, right? It's right, after Defenders. Right. But then somebody I read recently said it's not. It's considered the wrap-up of Phase 1. Well, they, they, they might pull in, in Ant-Man. Right. 
have it be the, the right. end of the phase, but it's a standalone. Like the cross, like a crossover right. thing to get them into the They're going to be in trouble, though, because phase two, how do you fit in Jessica Jones 2 and Daredevil 3? Because you know they're going to do them. Well, they've already announced that, those, that they are getting sequels. Right. So how do you fit those in and call it a... I guess you can't do it. It has to be the rollout phases. I guess well, that's how you What do they do drop it. one once every two months? Is that well, what Well, maybe they don't even do it no, as phases months. anymore. This is just lead up to the Defenders. I mean, I don't think they've even said phase... In we the call Netflix phases, movies. and I think they should. Well, they, they we have, I mean, they like, have like, rounds Here's the something. thing. I mean, because, like, I guess similar to, you know, phase one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we've gotten two seasons of Daredevil. Like, we got two Iron Man movies before Avengers. Right. Well, if you, if you look at it that way with Iron Man, they, Iron Man 1 doesn't count because that started, and then they started the clock on the phases, didn't they? I mean, when you look retroactively, oh, Iron well, Man 1. I look at Iron they, Man as the start of Phase 1. Well, it started, right. but they did it, and they said, hey, we could do this. And then when, when did the phases really start? When Thor came out? I, I don't think they went, hey, we can do this. I think in the no, back they were of their mind, the they were, already I mean, there. They, well, they, they, were, they but, went in a little, you know, because at the end of that one, I mean, we got Sam Jackson, the Avengers Initiative. I mean, sure. I think it was the start. Yes, I think everybody was like, whoa, that's not going to happen for a very long time. And right. look, we're eight years later, we're movie 13. Right. Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, right. When, was, I when was the first Iron Man? 2008. Yeah. I thought May, it was of two, May 1st, 2008. It's a pretty good eight years then. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was longer. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they did Iron Man and then they kind of sat for a little bit and then went. No, further. Iron Man came out in May of that year. Hulk, The Incredible Hulk came out in June of that same year. And then it went two years. It was, was that Norton Hulk or was it? Yeah, it was Norton yeah, Hulk. The Norton then Hulk. they went two years. Uh, Without, because then they had to start planning, and that um, they had to get everything, to get everything all the ducks up. in a row, sure. everything lined up. And then, and then that's was, when Iron so Man there was two some, came so out. There was some time when they did yeah. that, so, right? Okay. So that they had a year break. It was mm-hmm. the only time that you didn't get a Marvel movie within that. But again, because sure. people were still. But then they even tied in the Hulk because they had Downey Jr. up at the end of it talking right. to General Ross about right. the Avengers Initiative. Mm-hmm. So I mean, they they were they were planting seeds that they were waiting to see if they could pay them off. Right. Sure. And as we saw in Civil War, and if they War, didn't, they it was just a off. cool little Easter egg at the end. Yeah, yeah. So what else you got from Marvel? The Russo brothers are the renaming. Since they think they're renaming uh, Infinity War Part One and Two, which I think we all agreed was a stupid way to name them, but they just kind of came yeah. out with it. They're, I think they were just doing that to plant a plant a stake. What do you think they're going to call it? Infinity Two about Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> well, I had my theories before I saw Civil War. And now I, I don't know yet. So you don't think it's going to be Infinity Gauntlet and then Infinity War? No, because they, they I don't think it's going to be two movies central to Thanos. Really? What do you think the first one I is? think the first one will be partially central to a, a new Avengers, and that's what I'm thinking maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe they call maybe, it that. That's what that'll be called, you know, the new Avengers. And, and then the then Infinity War. Marvel's Infinity War. And then that's how they'd be able to bring everything in, because... And I don't want to give away spoilers, but how they left off Civil War, you know, there is there is stuff that happens. I mean, Civil War, there there's sure. fallout. There's and, fallout from it. You know, they've got to bring in. The, they've already established new characters, and these new characters are going to get some spotlight time. All right. Before that movie comes out, and they're going to get spotlight time in that main movie. But that's already been planned. Um, some of that, stuff. right? The Black Panther has been planned. But, but it has it, the movies have been planned. But but even 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 the Russo said like. These movies, you know, it's not like there's an outline script written for all of these. They change them all the time. Sure. He's like, we go into writing this movie, and it's not, I'm not worried about what they, you know, like at the end scene that they had, one of the end credit scenes, I'm not right. going to spoil it, but there was something, and I'll just, I'll just say it's something with Black Panther. They put that in there. They don't care what's already written in the script for Black Panther. They put that in there because that's what's going to fit their movie. But I don't think that's going to affect... The beyond, it's just going to create a side story, don't you think? I don't know. It could, it could, it, that could be a big impact, or that could not, because and we'll talk about it right. off air. I, I don't know. want to spoil yeah. it, but there, there, there's things that they lay these seeds for, and they're like, you know what? The funny thing is, is I was believe me, I watched 15, 20 interviews these guys did um, after I watched the movie. Um, that it's fun to watch what the next guy does with what they did with the character. Sure. Sure. And that's what they're excited about seeing with Spider-Man Homecoming, what happens with that, uh, because of what they did with Holland there and how they you know, mm-hmm. laid some of that groundwork. And by the way, that, was, that introduction to him was fantastic. Terrific. Not to spoil anything, he, 
No, but it, they it, people online it. have been saying it's the best Spider-Man movie in oh, 10 years. It's, yeah, I mean, it's, just it, the introduction of Peter Parker. Right. And I'm not even talking about the scene where we see in the, in the trailer with, you know, right. Spidey taking the shield. The introduction of Peter Parker was great. And, and what they did with Peter Parker is, is some of the stuff that they, they didn't do well in the other movies. And yet here in and five here minutes, right. you get it. Yeah. Awesome. And even though, wait. even though I love, 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 love Tobey Maguire and Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 2, mm-hmm. I didn't mind Andrew Garfield and, and that, that twist to the story. They wanted sure. to kind of try to ultimate universe it up. Here, and, and here it's not the same. It's not the comic books. I'm not opening up. I didn't open up and see the, you know, Ditko and, and Lee writing this because right, right. Aunt May is not 90 years old with a bun in her hair. You know, right. Mar- Marissa Tomei and... And Donnie calls it out, <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was great. And but 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 it fits, yeah. you know, and it makes sense because you know, looking back now, and I look at those comics, it's like you know, you're you know, you're reading, you're like, oh yeah, my aunt's old, and I'm like, you know, really, my aunt's not that old, you know, when yeah, I was right. that age. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, aunt's really old. You're like, is that your, your like, how could that be sister? your aunt? Exactly. Like, how is that Aunt May? Yeah, you know, it's that's like, right. You are 15 years old, Aunt May is you're worried about her medication because she's dying. Yes. She's like 90. <laughs> right. Like there's no like there's a huge gap there. What right. happened? There's uh, a couple yeah. of generations like lost. Right, in but there, yeah. you know you get it. Back in the 60s during the well, writing sure. times, you know, kids, people were having kids older, but right. whatever. But it, like how it fits now, they did a great. And it, Tom mm-hmm. Holland, man, I oh he was I was one. I didn't know the kid well. You know, there yeah. was, I saw him on screen. You know, but he rocks it out. And he he did great. Well, the, and, and then the the, all the of big the, fight scene, like all of the the sub characters, all of them got their time, which I thought was good, and got their time in a good in 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 a good fashion. Rudd was great as Ant Man. I thought. I mean, he was fantastic. I just I thought all of the the sub characters. Rudd is so underrated. Yeah, he's like, great. I, I watched Ant Man twice this week mm-hmm. while I've been sick, and I love Ant Man. Like right. Ant Man, people are like, "Oh, Ant Man's okay." Oh, it's no, Ant Man is better than okay. Ant Man's a, a terrific movie. movie. Watch the movie and pay attention. Sure, you know you're not paying attention. Right, you're missing out what's really behind there. And then mm-hmm. him in Civil War is fantastic. Oh my! I mean, just, and, and just and I'm not even talking about him in the suit and what Ant Man does. It's just Paul Rudd being Paul Rudd. Like right. you got two minutes of being Paul Rudd. Terrific. Right. And amongst all those other great actors, because they're all... Right, everyone had, like, a key funny, yeah. or, or not even funny, but, like, a key good line sure. that yeah. went through it. You know, there's there's a great and, scene. And it was organic. Even Cheadle, like, yeah. out of nowhere, you just hear him <laughs> talking to, to, uh, to Stark, and, and there, yeah. he says one thing, and I just start laughing. Oh, I'm yeah. like, this yeah. is great. Yeah. And it's not like he didn't even say it to be funny. He just said it, and he it was like, but it, it, yeah. but it worked. They captured the camaraderie of people that work together really well. It was like there were normal people just BSing around the, the kitchen table or the yeah. dinner table, but hey, we're superheroes. And there wasn't that you know, that like I think in Avengers or in Ultron where they talked about, you know, Jeremy Renner was talking about there were gods among us. There wasn't that aspect to this. It was like right. th- these guys are all great in one way or another, and some of them are impressed with each other and some aren't, which I thought was really cool. But then it's just like they were normal people you know, blowing each other a bunch of stuff and just having a good time. And then it's like, oh, and then, by the way, we're going to fight. So, yeah, it was just a great, and, great movie. And looking at this, like this, this, uh, th- this movie is in nowhere near that seven issue arc of Civil War. There's, there, there, right. The connective tissue is very minimal. Um, but it nails it. And, and, and I'm glad. Right. Because the, the interpersonal story that they gave to it Mm-hmm. was better than having the giant conflict, I think, sure. that they did in Civil War. Because, yes, it had the conflict of well, the registration, the accords, and all that kind of stuff. But then it brought it down to more of, a, of, of, of the friendship and why there's that divide and what happens. Mm-hmm. Because at one sure. point, you're watching this and you're like, oh, well, problem solved. Like, everything's going to be fine. And then, boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, and then, boom, oh, it no. flips again. And you're like... And they laid... And the thing is, they laid... And I, and I knew kind of how it was going to be played out because they lay the groundwork throughout the movie, and I was anticipating it coming through, mm-hmm. but it worked. Yeah. So it's like... Oh, it did. It was, it was really good storytelling. It was because it's... And it you was... Don't, you don't need background. I can go into this movie without having seen 99% of, yeah. of, of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I can go in and be like, okay, right. well, these guys are friends. You can tell. You can see... 
you have it. They build up. They have this great scene with it where they introduce Tony in the first in the, the right. beginning of the you know the movie. That was really that and was unbelievable. It'll movie. it'll throw you off if you haven't seen it because all of a sudden you'll be like, what is going on? Where am I? Is this you know? Mm-hmm. It, they did a great job there, um, a la you know an Ant Man scene. And I'm not going to spoil it, but it. It just builds off, and it does a great job. It, you know, everything you get from the first act, you get it in the third, and it, and it pays off. Fantastic. And, and that, that switch scene you were talking about was so quick. It was literally like everything is great, and then it wasn't. It was like you, you say hello, and then it was over. It's like, oh, my God, that was, it was an amazing, powerful scene. Yeah. We're in Batman v uh, Superman. It's like that quick. It was awful. Yeah, it's awful. You're like, <laughs> why'd you, you say that, that up? And then why'd you, you say that they, name? They, exactly. had a, they had a Martha scene. But it, that was the but quick, it was, was good. Martha it was, exactly. it was like the opposite. They yeah. did it exactly right. Right. Yeah. Because you were watching it, you're like, oh, oh. Yeah. You, yeah. you were very, it's, it's like, everybody was like, because you could tell, like, right when that scene starts and then everything starts playing, you can see. And I, everybody in the theater would be like, oh, so, oh man. So Capper, <laughs> Capper, Iron Man, Capper Stark, what team side? Cap. I'm the I haven't team seen Stark. it, and I'm Team Cap, so. Uh, you might not be at the end. I really? Think. I think you might not go that way. So uh, no. What do you mean? I don't think he. I think. Well, we'll see. I, I, I just don't think he would go that way. Uh, it's team cap. So uh, last thing could be in wrong, isn't it? <laughs> last thing I want to bring up. This is off of that. Did you guys see? Uh, this is it. There was a video, and I'm urging everybody to watch it. Radiohead has a new video out. Did you watch this? It's called "Burn the Witch." They're nope. nuts. They're out of their it's mind. It's the greatest video. Yeah, but they're out it's of their mind. The, the video, it's animated. It looks like Davy and Goliath, sort of, but it tells the story of the Wicker Man. <laughs> and it's like, it's amazing. <laughs> it's ama- the song is great, but the video is the coolest thing. So I just wanted did to highlight hear, that. Did you hear what they did? So like about a week before they put this out, they took themselves off of every social media aspect. They took their web page down. They Everywhere. stopped their Instagram account, their Facebook, their Twitter. Not not stopped it. Eliminated it. That was it. And people Radio were like, has gone. Gone. Like, you know, they took everything. They just deleted it all. And if people were like, what in the blank is going on? Knowing that their album was supposed to be coming out. And then they threw this out. And, and the video is it's, it's so really fantastic. Good. All That's right. Cool. That was it for me. You guys got anything else? Or is that it? That's no, it? We're good. All right. Thank you, everybody. That was the That is This Week in Geek. Uh, Thank you, Blue Box. Thank you very much. And uh, we will talk to you guys next week. Thanks for the applause, Dad.